Hello everyone and welcome back to 95 Linux. We will dive into the world of open source tech, Linux tapes and everything in between. Today, we are exploring something exciting. The top 4 interesting Linux distributions that made their debut in 2025 and also in 2026. The Linux ecosystem is always evolving with new distros popping up to solve unique problems, push boundaries or just offer a fresh take on desktop experience. But remember, these are brand new projects, mostly in early stages like alpha or beta. So they are not ideal for your main machine yet. If you are new to Linux, I'd suggest starting with the established ones like Ubuntu or Fedora for stability and community support. So that said, these newcomers showcase the creativity and innovation in the open source community. So let's jump in. First up, the KDE Linux. If you're a fan of the KDE Plasma desktop, this one might catch your eye. Launched in alpha form in September 2025 by the KDE project itself. KDE Linux aims to be the ultimate reference implementation for KDE software. That means it's designed to deliver the purest KDE experience possible without any distro specific tweaks getting in the way. It's built on the Arch Linux packages, but stands apart as an immutable OS. Think read-only base system, where updates come as atomic images, reducing the risk of breakage. Right now, it's still in alpha, with beta work underway. Key features like secure boot and optimized update management are on the roadmap, but it's a promising step toward a rock-solid KDE-focused distro. Now, next is Navy OS. This Ubuntu-based distribution from Turkey brings a flashy, artistic vibe to the table. Its first major stable release, version 10.0, Cappadocio, dropped in November 2025. Though development started back in 2023, what sets it apart is its custom Navy desktop environment, built on the VFR compositor with a layout that nods to macOS for that sleek, modern feel. It includes productivity widgets, gaming optimizations, and a focus on Wayland for smooth performance. Nebi OS emphasizes security with container-based architecture and is geared toward everyday users, enterprises, and even gamers. If you're tired of the usual GNOME or KDE looks, this could inspire you to experiment. Though, like many solo dev projects, its long-term support might depend on community growth. Now, third one is PeerOS. Fans of macOS aesthetics, rechoice. PeerOS is back from the archives, revived in 2025 by developer Alexandru Balan. This Romanian project released its nice core version in December, building on the legacy of the original PeerOS from over a decade ago. It's arch-based for bleeding-edge software via rolling updates but it uses KDE Plasma under the hood to mimic Apple's liquid glass style with its own liquid gel theme. A custom installer makes setup straightforward and it's all about blending familiarity with Linux flexibility. If you ever wanted a macOS-like interface without leaving the open source world, PeerOS delivers that without the proprietary lock-in. Just note, it's still fresh so expect some polishing in future releases. Now, finally, Obsidian OS. This one stands out for its innovative approach to system reliability. Debuting in August 2025 as an Arch-based distro, Obsidian OS introduces an AV partitioning scheme. Essentially, it runs on two separate EXT4 partitions. One holds the current updates, the other a stable fallback version. If an update goes wrong, you can boot into the previous state effortlessly. It's a UEFI only, uses systemd, and avoids more complex file systems like BTRFS to keep things simple. Aimed at users who prioritize stability without the overhead. It's a clear twist on rollback features already in Linux. The developer highlights it as a personal project. So while it's intriguing for tinkerers, Broader adaption will tell if it sticks around. So, there you have it. 
four fresh Linux distros from 2025 and 2026 that highlight the diversity and experimentation in the community. Whether it's a immutable designs, custom desktops, or smart partitioning, this show why Linux remains so vibrant. If any of these pique your interest, check them out in a virtual machine first. What do you think? Would you try one? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Like if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more Linux content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.